Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can find informational related keywords to the niche that you are targeting. So there's two different ways you can do this. I'll show you both a free option and an option which uses a premium tool. For those wondering, it's not really that feasible to actually find these question related keywords if you're using the Google Keyword Planner. And that is because if you carry out a search for, for example, table saw, it's going to return all these keywords which are all related to table saw. However, it doesn't give you a good overview on the whole table saw niche, such as what informational searches are people searching for related to your keyword. However, another free alternative you can use is this website right here called Answer the Public. And pretty much what it does is it returns a list of question related keywords based on whatever you search for. So if I come down to here and type in, let's get rid of chocolate, and we'll actually put in the word table saw, and then carry out a search. And notice how I only search for the word table saw and not best table saw. The reason being is if I search for best table saw, then what it's going to do is to return informational related keywords related to affiliate terms. So you wanna keep things as broad as possible and typically go for a short tail keyword, ideally consisting of two words, three words as a maximum. So if you scroll down, we can now see all of our question related keywords. However, I'm personally not a fan of this visual way they present the data. So what I like to do is just go to data. And as you can see, it now breaks it down nice and easy to read. So we've got lots of keywords all related to the word R. So R table saw blades universal, R table saw blades reverse threaded, R table saw stands universal, pretty much every informational related keyword that starts with the word R. So what's actually really handy when it comes to finding informational related keywords is that nine times out of 10, an informational keyword is going to contain a word that you typically say when asking a question as informational keywords are pretty much question related keywords. And why I'm such a fan of this tool is because number one, it's free and it breaks down those questions based on the word. If you scroll down, you can see we've got all these keywords related to why, who, which, which table saw to buy, we've got will, Will a table saw rust? These are tons of relevant keywords that you can then write content about, upload it to your website as it's all super relevant to your niche. So you can actually go ahead and download this as a CSV, although that is what a newbie would do. As you're watching this course, you are not a newbie. You're gonna be more one of the veteran affiliate marketers. So what I recommend you actually do is go a step a little bit further. And instead of just searching for a keyword such as table saw, we can actually use one of our keyword clusters that we've identified earlier on in our keyword research process. So I'm going to go for my keyword cluster of portable using this as my cluster word. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for portable table saw and carry out a search on that. And now it's only going to return questions related to portable table saws. Let's go over to data. Are portable table saws good? What's the best portable table saw? How to use a portable table saw? Now what we have is cluster related, informational related keywords. That's quite a mouthful. And the benefit of us being this specific up front now is instead of us downloading a big CSV with just random question related keywords for your whole niche as a whole, we don't have to worry about sorting out any of those and categorizing them and adding the right ones to our cluster. So let's go ahead and download this as a CSV. Once you open up the spreadsheet, it will look something like this. Now, do not go ahead and just copy all the keywords as that will be another mistake. You only want to copy the keywords that have the word questions in column A. So if you actually scroll down, you'll see we have another option for preposition keywords. We don't want any of these. We just want these ones right here, which are the question related keywords. Let's go ahead and copy those keywords. Now what we want to do is get these added over to our keyword research master template. So you have two different options. Option number one is you can add these keywords onto your existing portable cluster. However, as this is typically our commercial intent keywords, I wouldn't recommend that. What I actually recommend you do is you go ahead and make a copy of this. So go ahead and duplicate that. Then we're gonna rename that and we're gonna call this portable informational as this contains all of our portable informational keywords. So what we're going to do now is simply delete all of our existing keywords we have on here as these are our commercial intent keywords 
And then we're gonna simply scroll back to the top and then paste in our informational related ones. You will notice that we don't have any monthly search volumes for these keywords, and that is because we are using Answer the Public, which is a free tool. If you want to get the keyword search volume data, then you're going to need to copy those keywords and use the Get Volume and Forecast option that you have in Google Ads. Alternatively, you can literally copy the keywords into SEMrush and it will tell you how many searches they have a month. So that is the first strategy you can use using Answer the Public, which is completely free. Moving on to the second strategy, which involves using SEMrush. So this works in exactly the same way. You wanna come over to SEMrush and type in one of your short tail keywords, but once again, making sure you include one of the words from your cluster. So I'll go for portable again carry out a search and then you want to scroll down and go to this middle section right here, which is keywords all related to questions. So we can actually expand this and take a look at this in a bit more detail. And the great thing about using SEMrush is as it's a premium tool, it brings in the search volume for you. So it's gonna save you a little bit of time and make things just a little bit more smoother. You will notice that some of these keywords are very similar, if not a repetition, such as this one right here, how to use a portable table saw. Well, we've got pretty much the same thing down below, how to use a portable table saw. So when you download these keywords and add them to your keyword research master sheet, just make sure you go through them and make sure you don't have any duplicates. You can use a remove duplicate feature I showed you earlier. So that is a whole process from A to Z and pretty much all you want to do is rinse and repeat that for all of the different clusters you have. I hope you enjoyed this video and most importantly enjoyed this section of the course. Keyword research is a massive part of affiliate marketing. If you get it right, you are literally setting yourself up for success as everything you do from here onwards is all based on your foundational keyword research. That is it for this one. I had a great time and I'll see you in the next one.